Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing, as you can tell about the title, a what's in my makeup bag video. I did say I wanted to go ahead and do this. And now my makeup bag, I feel, is ready to where I can do this video. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I keep in my new makeup bag. I did go ahead and switch it up and get a new makeup bag. I totally revamped it because, for one, my old makeup bag was way too small. It's a makeup bag that I got from Forever 21 for like $4.90. It was super cheap and it was like really compact and small and I was really having to shove my things in there and I never really kept it organized um so I really wanted to my makeup bag and then the, the products that I did carry first of all I carry bare minimum I don't have to really go in and really go like touch my makeup too much throughout the day so I only carry what I need and with my own makeup bag I was really able to carry what I needed but Certain thing I just had in it was unnecessary, and it was just like it was just a lot. So finally one day I just dumped it, tossed what I needed to toss, and I completely redid it. And I also purchased a new makeup bag. So this is my new makeup bag, and this is the Ted Baker um wash bag. Now he does make a cosmetic bag it's a little smaller than this but i needed something a little bit larger now first thing first oh i have a stain on it what is that first thing first i didn't realize how big this thing would be but i'm not mad about it i'm able to fit everything in here and i still have a lot of room left and it doesn't feel too big or too heavy in my purse um if you guys want to know if you guys want to what's in my like my bag bag like my my, my bag my, my purse video go ahead and leave me a comment and a thumbs up but this is my Ted Baker wash bag I got this from Bloomingdale's and I love the detail the little bow in it with the T it's pink and gold gold on the bottom and it has a gold zipper that has a T on it and I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you guys what's in this baby I will have a link to this makeup bag below so I'm just gonna go ahead and just stick my hand in and pull things out so the first thing I have in here is the Mario Badescu um, facial spray I love especially in the summertime now that we get now that it's getting warm to go ahead and spritz this over my face to reset my makeup after I touch up. And this is a little one that you can get this little mini one from like Urban Outfitters, um, uh, Nordstrom Rack, or wherever. I love this spray and it smells really, really good. And this like really does refresh your face. Even if you don't have one makeup, this is good to carry with you in the summertime to just refresh your skin. I also carry these, t I have two packs of them. These are the Tatcha um japanese beauty papers or oh, one got crumbled just gonna shove that in there i love these i get these from sephora they're 12 dollars, but you get 30 sheets so i have 60 well this is almost out but 30 sheets for 12 dollars. that is so good and these are blotting papers i love a good blotting paper if you, and one of my favorites a couple months ago i did talk about the palladio ones i don't buy they're cheaper than the tatcha ones those are like three four dollars at like ricky's or something like that i don't buy those anymore because they have like a thin layer of powder on them and even though it will blot me really really nicely it will blot really nice to get the oil up um sometimes it would cake up around my nose a little bit with that thin layer of powder so I didn't really like that so these are so much better they don't know they don't have a powder on them they literally like they're super 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 thin and I just pack anywhere I'm oily and when I say this does not disturb your makeup like it does not disturb none near none of your makeup it is literally gets the oil off and you just toss them in the trash I love these so these are like a staple in my makeup bag. I have some regular clean and clear um uh makeup wipes just in case whatever. Um, this is a mini pack that I get from for like a dollar seventy five. I have some brushes in here. This is a brush I got from Walgreens. Walgreens came out with some makeup brushes, like their own line of makeup brushes, and they're actually pretty nice. Like they look nice, they feel nice. Look at that. And this is the powder brush. This is an e.l.f. highlighting brush. I keep very minimal brushes in here. I keep my brushes and powders in this NYX bag that I got from when I placed the order on the NYX website. So I just reuse the bag. 
And also in here, I have another Walgreens brush. It's just a dual brush. I have a spoolie on one end and an angle brush on the other end in case I want to um, clean up or retouch up my brows. Because I do get oily around them sometimes. And then also in here, I have the Ella Girl Concealer and Warm Honey. This shade should not be in here. That's way too light to have in there. I'm going to swap that out with a different concealer. Or with a different shade. I'm going to put Toffee in there. That's the shade that should be in there. And then I have this Estee Lauder Shimmering Highlighter Palette in case I want to touch up my highlighter. And the reason why I carry this one is because being that it's a highlighter palette, it has different hues. As you can see, it has like a gold, a peachy gold, a bronzy gold, and like a champagne gold. So if I want to mix them all together, I can. Or just go on with the peachy one, depending on what highlight I already had on for that day. You know, or the more bronzy one. I like that about it a lot. So that's why I carry this one. And this just goes in here. Also that goes in here is my MAC blotting powder. This is just a regular blotting powder. I use this sometimes, but how oily I get. I'm almost out. So I use that. And I keep a regular matte pressed powder. This is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder in the shade Chestnut. And I'll just draw the little string. And this fits perfectly in my makeup bag. Woo. Next up, I have some liquid highlighter. This is the Maybelline Strobing Liquid in um, 300 Deep Gold. I carry highlighters because sometimes when you are sweating throughout the day and constantly touching up, that's the first thing that goes sometimes is your highlighter. So that's why I have to touch it up. And then I just keep my ABH Brow Powder in the shade Ebony in here. Like I said, to touch up my brows. I do get oily on my brows sometimes. Um, for lip colors... I have two Urban Decay glosses. I have, these are the older ones. I have Bittersweet, which is a purple, and I have Liar, which is a new. If you've been a long time at BDB, you know at one point I could not stop wearing this. So I keep these in there. And I keep um, Stilo, um, the ColourPop, and collab with Ellery. I also keep Netta in here, but I think Netta is in my purse purse because it's not in here. So I keep those glosses in there as well. I have backup. I have two of each of these. This one, Stilo and Netta. Love them. Okay, so I keep that in there. This Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in the shade Queen, I think. Queen B. It's a really nice nude. In case I want to go ahead and switch up my lip color if I'm going out with my boyfriend after work or something or with a friend, then I can go ahead and pop on a new lip if I would like. And I keep a NYX brown lip liner in the shade Espresso. And then I keep a ColourPop brow pencil. Now, this is their brow boss. This is not my shade. Um, This is in the shade dark brown this is too light for my brows so i keep it in here in case i want to touch up with it but it'd be nice for like spot filling in my brows but like to full on do my brows with this is way too light so i keep that in here um and then i keep my maybelline skinny black eyeliner like i keep this like looks maybe i have one like this and i get that call like bring babe meet me after work i want to go dinner okay cool i wipe off my gloss put on a nice new lip um matte lip and I take my eyeliner, go ahead and smudge it on the lower lash line, get a real nice smoky going. I keep a black eyeliner with me. And then I just have some nail clippers. And I should have tweezers in here. And I keep some tweezers. And lastly, woo, I have this fresh sugar lip caramel hydrating balm i need to keep a lip balm in my bag because like when i have a really long shift at work sometimes i'm just like okay off with the lip color i just want to finish my shift and go home so i like to take it off and even while i'm touching up my lip color like if i have like a matte lip and i want to touch it up after i like i eat my lunch or something i'll go ahead wipe it as much of it off as i can apply a little bit of lip balm let it sit for a minute blot off the excess and then go back in my lip color so that my matte lip color so that i don't over dry out my lips because my lips get over dry they do crack so i don't i don't need that okay we don't need that i did get it from sephora and it smells like caramel Mm, it smells so good and literally it's like the most hydrating lip balm i've ever tried so i love this 
and I have a lot more room as you can see. So everybody, that's what's in my makeup bag. The only thing that's lying here that I need to go get to put in here is a lash glue because when I've had my lashes full of fat work, working too hard, I've had a lash fall off and I have been devastated by it. So I need to put some lash glue in there. But other than that, like I said, I carry the basics. I carry what I need. I don't need to carry eyeshadow palettes. I don't need to carry foundation i feel like if you're a typical nine to five working girl like me you keep the basics with you you carry what you need okay and that's all that i need that's all i've ever really ever needed in my makeup bag i've never had to carry anything else crazy the only reason why i carry a little bit of concealer is if like i do sometimes like wipe off my lipstick and stuff i do get like it does lift my foundation around my mouth but other than that that's it um and yeah, I just carry what I need. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope it inspires you to go ahead and redo your makeup bag. Because I was so inspired just to redo it. Um, again, a link for this bag will be down in the description box. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see all of my lovely beauty bees in the next one. Mwah.